Hey, Shakespeare! Antony and Cleopatra, Act 3, Scene 13. We saw at the beginning of this yesterday where Mark Antony was blaming Cleopatra for how much he loves her. Um, and also, he's really pissed off at her because she has decided that she's going to side with Caesar now because Caesar made her an offer that she can have anything she wants as long as she kills Mark Antony and like bends the knee to Caesar. So Anthony was laying into her yesterday and saying, like, you were nothing when I found you, and I turned you into this thing, and now you betray me, and all that sort of stuff. And now the messenger that had been taken out of the room to be beaten to a bloody pulp has come back, and this is Mark Antony giving that messenger a message to take back to Caesar, because, yay, it's good to beat up on the messenger, right? That's healthy. Anyway. Here we go with Mark Antony talking to the messenger. If that thy father live, let him repent thou was not made his daughter, and be thou sorry to follow Caesar in his triumph, since thou hast been whipped for following him. Henceforth, the white hand of a lady fever thee, shake thou to look on it. Get thee back to Caesar. Tell him thy entertainment. Look thou say, he makes me angry with him. For he seems proud and disdainful, harping on what I am, not what he knew I was. He makes me angry. And at this time, most easy tis to do it, when my good stars are, that were my former guides have empty left their orbs and shot their fires into the abysm of hell. If he mislike, my speech, and what is done, tell him he has Hipparchus, my enfranchised bondman, whom he may at pleasure whip, or hang, or torture, as he shall like to quit me. Urge it thou, hence with thy stripes be gone. And then he leaves, and then he and Cleopatra kind of sort of make up by the end of the scene, which is a little bit weird, because, you know, love conquers all except for wars or something. I don't know. This, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow.